What's going on guys, my name's Sypnostic and welcome to a brand new MWZ video. For those of you who don't know, I make daily zombies videos and in doing so I come across rare schematics all the time. And since I have them all unlocked already, the best thing I can do is give them away to you guys. The winner of all the schematics from my last video is Nathan Simpson, so congratulations my guy, I went ahead and sent you a friend request, go ahead and accept that and hit me up whenever you're free. For those of you who still need the schematics, don't worry, drop a comment on this video including your your Activision ID and I'll select one of you guys and announce the winner in my next video so stay tuned. Someone by the name of Savage X Selfish suggested an LMG from Modern Warfare 3, the Holger 26. Now we've reviewed quite a few LMGs lately and so far the best LMG was the RPK so let's see if the Holger 26 can take that number one spot. Before we get into the build I'm using for the Holger 26 I quickly want to take a moment to thank Mitch Cactus for sponsoring this video. If you're interested in unlocking the Interstellar and Borealis Mastery camos or you just want to play in easier lobbies to quickly level up your weapons and unlock camos or if you're a zombies player just interested in unlocking all the schematics and go ahead and check out MitchCactus.com. They have over 10,000 reviews on their Trustpilot page and are the safest and most professional Call of Duty service out there. Be sure to use my code HYPNO for 5% off. The build we're using for the Holger 26 is as follows. We're using the CT2000 Tactical Rear Grip for increased sprint to fire speed, the Holger 556 Factory Stock for increased sprint speed, movement speed, and sprint to fire speed, the FSS Olay V Laser for increased ADS speed and sprint to fire speed. We threw on the Holger Factory Barrel for increased bullet velocity and range. And last but not least, we're using the DR6 Hand Stop for increased ADS speed, sprint to fire speed, and movement speed. Thank you again to Savage X Selfish for the suggestion. If you guys have suggestions for other weapons you'd like to see me check out, then drop a comment below. Now that we've covered the build we're using for the Holger 26, it's time to make our way into the tier 3 zone and the Elder Dark Ether to do some testing, so I'll see you all there. Alright boys, we are here in the tier 3 zone. As you can see, we got the Holger 26 to pack 3. And uh, first impression, man, the overall mobility is great on this thing. Of course, we did build it so that mobility is as good as possible. You know, we kept that default mag. Um, we got that laser on for increased ADS speed and sprint to fire speed. Just a really mobile gun. Um, so there is a bounty contract right there. I'm going to go ahead and pick that up. I did pick one up earlier. But for some reason, as soon as we got to the target, it just instantly died. We didn't even get to fight him, so of course I didn't keep any of that footage. But hopefully we can actually fight our target this time. See what target we get. Hopefully it's a mega, come on, it's a disciple. Okay, no problem. And he's going to be right next to us, cool. So let's make our way over there. Also, I had a little series idea where I make a brand new account make like a hardcore account or something i don't know i'll still have to think about the exact rules but basically i just kind of record every game that i go in and uh, you guys can kind of see how i would progress a zombies account yeah i'll still have to think about the details but let me know what you guys would think about that where's this disciple at man oh he's gonna be under us i know this spot he's gonna be right in here i think no yes there he is Nice. Alright, let's shoot his arm. Beautiful. Start hitting those critical shots on him. There we go. He's gonna do his little arm healing thing again. Yeah, we're doing a fair amount of damage. Nothing crazy. Um, where'd he go now? Oh, he's down there. Oh man, I swear. Disciples are so annoying, man. Just look at that. Now he's back again. Dude, I hate disciples. They're the most annoying bounty target you can get. But we're definitely melting this guy, which is good for us. So we're not going to have to fight this guy for too long. There we go. Let's keep hitting those criticals. Get that reload again. He's going to do his healing thing. Nice. Keep hitting those criticals. Oh, he's so close to dying, man. There we go. Shoot his arm again. Get that reload. We'll have to use our blade here. And there we go. Killed the Disciple, had no issues taking that guy out. We got Napalm, I'll actually throw that on. A normal sigil and an epic tool. So nothing too special off that contract. 
there's no more bounty contracts in the tier three zone there's a bunch of people here man so it's definitely gonna be rough trying to find contracts so i think we'll just make our way over to the elder dark ether nice little group of zombies right here and that roaming disciple let's actually take that guy out oh yeah just look at that and we got this little mangler right here dude just look at that so this thing's great against roaming elites, it's great against bounty targets, and it's great against groups of zombies. So I'll have to rate this thing a solid 9.5 out of 10 already. I can't wait to go to the Elder Dark Aether and see how this thing performs. We're pretty good on ammo too, considering it's just a default mag. Um, so yeah, just, just a great gun. And there we go, we made it to the portal, let's use our sigil. Accept that teleport, and I'll see you all in the tier 5 zone. And there we go, boys. We made it to the tier 5 zone. Got these hellhounds right here. Of course, they're going to be super quick to kill. And uh, the normal tier 5 zombies are no issue at all, as we just saw. Start hitting a few shots on this mega. Hopefully, he uses a laser attack soon. Couple zombies right here. There we go. That's the laser attack we wanted. Let's get that reload. Kind of bad timing right there. We might go down. Nope. We made it. Nice. So yeah, damage output's definitely great. I think we already destroyed one of the Mega's faces. Let's throw that real quick. There we go. We also have that Mimic to deal with. Yeah, so one of the Mega's faces is destroyed. So yeah, damage output is great. Just look at how quickly we're killing this Mimic too, man. Jeez. There we go, get that reload. Face is glowing right there. Couldn't hit any criticals, unfortunately. Let's keep hitting a few more shots. Oop, throw that blade. Oh no, we got trapped and we survived. There we go, got this mimic here as well. It's definitely not the best LMG we've reviewed, but it's probably gonna take second place. I'll say that. The, uh,. There we go, let's hit those shots. The RPK from last video was actually a bit better, I'd say. Damage output especially was noticeably better. Um, why are we not hitting the Mega? That was kind of weird right there. Interesting. There we go, let's keep hitting those shots. Beautiful. So yeah, the RPK was definitely better than this. Um, this is better than the Tack Eradicator though. Probably better than the Bruin MK9 as well. There we go. Yeah, this Mega's almost dead. Let's get a bit of distance. Hopefully he hits us with a laser attack. We'll just need one more. Let's actually get on this car. That's kind of a safe spot against these Megas. And there we go, his face is glowing. And he's gonna hit us with the laser attack. Beautiful. And we got the kill. Quick and easy, a flawless crystal off that. Very nice. And Deadshot Daiquiri. We'll take the crystal, of course. Definitely gonna grab that. Alright, so normally I wouldn't advise killing that Mega, I just do it to really demonstrate how good the guns perform that we test here um, for these videos, but yeah. Basically, once you get to the Elder Dark Aether, I'd recommend rushing over to this building right here. And this is where you find the Aether Extractor contract, so just make your way to the roof, kind of like I did. If you take that route, it is the quickest. And there we go, just pick up the contract, jump down to this side of the building so you can kind of avoid the Mega Abomination and any other elite zombies that might be back there. And just run over to this wall and you'll find a zip. That's going to bring us to the first extractor. There's going to be a bunch of zombies here, as you can see, also one or two elites. So just throw a Casimir, that's going to take care of all the zombies, it's also going to damage the elites, and you can just disable the extractor. Quick and easy. Once you get that one, just run along here, and once you cross this wooden bridge over here, you can throw another Casimir right at that wall. That's going to bounce off and land right at the extractor, as you can see, and that's going to kill any zombies that might be up here. And it's gonna let us just disable the extractor. Very easy. Then we'll just equip some extra Casimirs, climb up this ladder here, and get on this wall. Throw another Casimir right at the extractor. That's gonna bounce off and get rid of all the zombies on this side. And once again, we can just disable the extractor. As you can see, it even kills the special zombies for you. So 
yeah definitely a very easy contract let's see what we get a extra self revive the ether blade case and the dog bone recipe also two perks definitely some good loot so far so yeah once you complete that contract just get on this wall here and parachute over to these stairs from here just jump down and right over at this green bus here you'll find the outlast contract so just accept that run down the street here make your way over to this wall and take the zip up go through this door right here and take a left and here you have the pnd device so just get this activated and um of course for the outlast contract all you want to do is stay in this room here really not much to it if you have casimirs use those use a field upgrade that i have as well definitely helps out for this contract as that's gonna get a bunch of kills for you but yeah overall not much to it just stay alive keep running in circles and uh yeah probably the easiest contract here in the tier 5 zone and there we go contract complete that's gonna kill most of the zombies for you you'll still have a couple left alive as you can see we also have a mangler and a disciple two disciples actually so let's just quickly come back here i think i'll quickly use a casimir and just make this a bit quicker uh dang okay i think it glitched out maybe no okay it's still gonna do its thing nice all right let's keep hitting those shots on these guys here get the reload let's take out this disciple there we go one disciple is dead man there's three disciples in total let's throw that blade there we go we'll have to run through here get a bit of distance from those disciples man i swear i hate disciples they're the most annoying elites let's get that reload there we go at least both of the disciples are almost dead that's one disciple dead and there we go second disciple is dead let's quickly kill these two zombies here and there we go see what we got some golden plates we'll actually take that golden plate plans epic ether tool definitely a good run in the elder dark ether today got that flawless crystal which is great so the next game when we load in we'll have that pack three crystal which is amazing of course i use tombstone so i'm not gonna take the exfil i'm just gonna unequip myself revive down myself and uh the next game when i load in i'll have all of this stuff here in my tombstone so that's how i do it so yeah overall i'll have to rate this thing a solid 9.5 out of 10. it definitely performed really good here in the tier 5 zone it did great in the tier 3 zone as well it's overall a great lmg so yeah if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to hit that like button comment with any suggestions for future videos and don't forget to subscribe to show support to the channel i hope you guys have a wonderful day or night wherever in the world you are and as always goodbye